We are back with more of What's Now. The holidays can be stressful, and you know what? They also can be a little stressful on your pets. We are going to talk more about how to value your pets and give them good health this holiday season. Hello, Christine. Hi, how are you doing? I'm great. How are you? Doing good. We all know that the holiday season can be one of the most stressful times of the year. Planning, coordinating, spending, traveling, the list goes on and on. Luckily, spending some quality time with a four-legged friend can ease the holiday stress and potentially improve your health. Renowned veterinarian Dr. Jeff Werber is here with us today to tell us a bit about how to keeping your dog in good health can be good for you, and he's going to share tips and tricks on how to best keep dogs and ourselves healthy during the holiday season. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Or us, I should say. Yes, welcome, welcome. So, Dr. Weber, let's start with the science. What are the benefits of pet ownership, and how can a pet's health impact their owners? You know, well, first of all, we know that there's unconditional love and companionship. I have 10 pets at home. I've been doing this for 35 years. That I know for sure. But also, scientifically, it's shown that pet ownership can help lower blood pressure, lower cholesterol, um, it decreases our stress and anxiety, increases socialization. Uh, for kids in the house, it, it is found that kids do better in school when they grow up with pets in the household. Uh, and then by, by exercising your pets, you're usually out there as well. So it's great because you're both getting the exercise. So there are a number of great reasons. Well, and introduce your furry friend that you have with us. This is Harry. You. Harry is our latest adoption. We have 10 pets at home. They're a little crazy. Um, and he is, he's just a bundle of love. And you talk about love and companionship. It's right here with Harry. Right, Harry? Yes. Well, thanks, Harry, for joining us as well. What can pet owners do to create a positive and healthy routine for their dog? You know, routine is very important. You know, we are what we eat. Dogs are what they eat as well. So when it comes to it, it's all about diet. It's about exercise. It's about uh, preventive veterinary care. So these are the keys. So well, let's talk diet first. It's one of the most important things. First of all, you want to look for foods that have good animal sources of protein. It could be lamb. It could be uh, chicken. And usually should be the first ingredient. Secondly comes the grains. Uh, dogs do very well with grains. They also provide protein. They're a great source of carbohydrates, which break down into energy. And you, know, you want a combination of grains because some are very fast acting like rice and wheat, whereas others take a little longer like barley and sorghum. So what happens is you get that long lasting effect of the energy and you know, when you're feeding them twice a day towards the end of the, that first meal, they need that extra burst of energy as well. And of course, fiber. When you think of grains, they provide fiber, which is really good for gastrointestinal health. And then comes the exercise. Um, get out there as much as you can. You know, it's very important um, to, to exercise your pets. It's good for their bones and joints and development. Uh, it keeps them in good shape. It, it prevents obesity. And while they're out there, you're out there. And I know they're, uh, you know, in, in Park City, it gets very cold. I'm a big snowboarder. I'm up there a lot. Um, that we want to make sure that there are some indoor options as well, whether it's a doggy daycare, whether it's an agility course, something that your pets can do indoors as well uh, during the cold weather. But the exercise really is key. Well, these are some great ideas to help keep ourselves healthy and our dog, really, because if we're exercising our dog, we're exercising ourselves. Any other tips that we can yeah. utilize this a holiday season? Absolutely. So first of all, even without holiday season, when you're transferring foods, as dogs go through life stage, uh, you want to make sure that you speak to your veterinarian and look for foods, like an IAMS, for example, that has different uh, foods for different life stages. But don't switch if they're doing great in what they are. And if you're thinking about it, always check with your veterinarian first. Um, as far as holidays, well, you know, you have the uh, decorations on the Christmas tree. You have holiday foods. Holiday foods may be good for you, maybe not, but we like them anyway. But for sure, not good for our dogs. We want to avoid greasy foods. We want to avoid the fats, nuts, raisins, things like that, chocolate. Stay away. Keep them away from our pets. Um, decorations. Uh, the tree, you got, the, you got tinsel, you got ribbons, you got the, the, the Christmas balls that are hanging from the tree. But if you have a Labrador retriever, to him, that looks like tennis balls. So you got to be really careful. Exposed wires and, of course, candles. Pets, especially cats, love to play with candles. I don't get it. So they might you know, go up to a flickering light and try to bat at it, and they can, and, and of course, tip it over. So you want to be careful with that as well. So it's exercise, it's diet. The more we can do to keep our pets healthy, the more it's going to keep us healthy as well. Where can we get more information? For more information, you can go to iams.com. That's I-A-M-S. Great tips, a lot of things we spoke about, and more ways to keep our pets healthy, to keep the enjoyment of our pets healthy as well. So uh, they'll, we'll be healthier people and healthier pets. 
Well, great. Well, Dr. Werber, we appreciate you joining us today, and my dog is going to be very thankful. Oh. So <laughs> that's a good thing. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Happy holidays. You too.